when you use the GNOME desktop, probably depending on what distribution that you're using, certainly in Debian, which I'm using, but probably in the other ones, very likely in the other ones, to make the GNOME desktop more usable, more friendly, it probably would be a good thing to install in extensions. And it's not all that obvious to people who aren't used to it. Although if you're able to install Debian, you probably already know this, but maybe you're using Ubuntu GNOME or, or some such thing as this. So the, the first thing to do is to bring up your, your tweak tool. It's a weird thing, but right in that, there's something called extensions. And you can turn them on and off at will except they're not all there so then you might have to go to get more extensions and that takes you to this website here gnome extensions and it's just a website where you can select different extensions to help make your desktop more you know customizable and easier to use for instance I have a bottom panel, I don't know if it's going to show up on the video, that has all my favorites. I have an applications menu up here on top, which may or may not show up on this video, which would not be there in the standard GNOME desktop. Places for, you know, files and home documents, music, video. Weather. The weather is not something that's standard. And there's many, many, oh, and at the bottom here I have showing what window I'm using. Otherwise, it's very difficult to see on a GNOME desktop. You can even get more shell themes, shell extensions, and install them if you like. That's getting a little bit too complicated and fancy for me, though. So anyway, the best thing to do if you're going to use this desktop rather than Mate or something else is to um, is to get the extensions. Alright, let's see here.